No fizz. Oh, I didn't see you there. It must be project time. Still no fizz. <clears throat> Today, we're gonna make our own soda pop with science. Did someone say science? Have you ever noticed that soda pop likes to fizz? <laughs> right? <laughs> it sounds mysterious, effervescent. Try it. Fizz. The bubbles are created by gas, leaving the liquid in the form of going to say carbon dioxide. So, the carbon dioxide gives the soda pop its fizz. Ugh, this is not helping. <clears throat> the carbon dioxide gas or Ach du Liebe, can we at least call it by its technical name? Oh, so you don't like it when I say fizz. No. I don't. So you'd rather say what? Bubbly bubblies. How is that more scientific than fizz? Bubbly bubblies. You don't even sound scientific when you say bubbly bubbly. Fizz, fizz. Bubbly bubblies. Fizz. Bubbly fizz bubblies. I'm done. No, wait. No, I'm done. I win. Bubbly bubblies for everyone. <laughs> it was not a contest, said the person who lost the contest. We can make our own carbonated soda by adding carbon dioxide to water or lemon juice or pomegranate juice. That stuff is tasty. We can do this by chemical bonding. Chemical bonding occurs when the molecules of each- Boring. Boring. <laughs> Science is never- Still boring. Get permission. Oh, I just love my boy doing science. Next, you'll need this stuff. I like making stuff. Put a hole in the cork with a skewer. Then push the short end of the straw into the hole you created. Cut a small slit in the other end of the straw. Slide it inside the second straw so the two fit together. Fill the drinking glass with water or lemonade. Put a teaspoon of baking soda into the bottle. Add enough vinegar to fill the bottle half full. Quickly put the cork on the bottle. Put the end of the second straw into the water glass and watch it go. The vinegar and baking soda bond chemically to make carbon dioxide gas. The gas escapes through the straw, making the water bubble, giving us our own fizz. I prefer bubbly bubbly. <laughs>